Hey everyone, welcome to Mates TV. Uh, yeah, look, I just wanted to do a, a quick video, really. We've all learned Monday morning the incredibly sad news of the passing of former Liverpool manager Gerard Ullier, uh, just 73 years old. And yeah, it's mad. It, it, you know, it kind of puts everything into context at the moment where we, we're still kind of like reeling from a, a poor Liverpool performance that sent them joint top of the Premier League. And here's a man who's pivotal absolutely pivotal in 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 building the foundations of what is the modern liverpool um uh, you know has obviously sadly lost his life and it's i mean it's great to see the outpour and uh, uh, you know a, a positivity in the memories around him and and for me gerard Ullier is absolutely massive I, I i talk a lot about rafa benitez probably too much really um and obviously we, everyone's so enamored with what Jürgen klopp's doing and if you have different ages and different generations you've got your own manager Gerard Ullier was the, the real first one for me in that regard. You know, I was a kid growing up. I was, I was a, a very young kid when, when, when Kenny left the job. Still a young kid when Sunes was in charge. Too young to really appreciate it. Roy Evans then takes over. But when Ullier comes in, I'm a, I'm a teenager at this point, And that's when I'm, I'm properly, properly into football. And, you know, the treble season is rightly celebrated and maybe actually slightly almost forgotten in some regards because of what goes on in 2005 with the Champions League and subsequent. But that season for me, 2000, 2000, 2001, I was 17, going 18 years old, the real formative stage of my life. Um, the League Cup win, which is the first uh, trophy in that treble, of course, I, I was just so <laughs> mad into Liverpool and so mad into that Liverpool side at the time. I actually got on one of the 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 the, the, the put on coaches on my own. Like I, I I had a ticket. No one else in my family had a ticket. I went to Cardiff on my own to watch that game. I got in the in the stadium hours and hours before kickoff. I watched all the preamble, all the stuff happening on the pitch, all like the games entertainment they put on. Watched us obviously win that that on, on penalties. Um when it comes to the FA Cup final at the end of the season, that time me and my dad go, it's after my leavers ball at, for, for, for sixth form in school. Got woken up on very, very little sleep with slightly too much alcohol coursing through my veins. Got on a train, this like ancient train um, to Cardiff, which took forever. Again, the most dramatic of wins for the Reds, Michael Owen pulling it out the bag right at the end. And uh, and then obviously we go on and win the, the UEFA Cup uh, in, that, in that season as well. And that's another one where we, um, I was surrounded by my mates and it was just 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 absolutely heart stopping and you know almost set the precedent for what would become Liverpool's way of doing things for a number of years is like to do things in the most mad and dramatic fashion possible and it's funny because I think there's some people at the time who maybe didn't warm to, to Julia you know Roy Evans had a lot of fans you know he'd come through the boot room he scouser through and through love Liverpool football club and the way that the the Julia was brought in really wasn't in keeping with the you know the, the way that we wanted the football club to run that kind of joint managership but you know Ullier came in in the situations and he helped to modernize Liverpool he helped to build Liverpool and you look at the things that he, he achieved in the games that we won and the and bringing back the big European knights to the to the football club think about the Barcelonas and the Romas and of course yeah you know winning the winning the UEFA Cup as well you know he's the man who who makes Michael Owen the, the player that he is at the time. He, he, he's he got a young Steven Gerrard. He shapes and moulds Gerrard. He shapes and moulds Jamie Carragher. You know, he is the the most important starting manager for all of these players to go on and have the careers that they had. And yeah, it's... Um, you know, it's a shame that he doesn't get the opportunity in the same way to, you know, that, or doesn't get to win the big one, doesn't get to win either the big ones, the Premier League or the UEFA Cup. But I don't think that, look, Rafa, I don't know that Rafa is able to go and win the Champions League if it's not for the work that Uli puts in before him. And I say, in terms of bringing the club into the 21st century, Uli was the perfect man. He made Liverpool a professional outfit and maybe lost some of the some of the sort of madness along the way. But you know, we were we were Liverpool were a team playing catch up. They were a team still living very much on the glories of the of the 80s, still doing things a little bit a little bit old school, the way things had always been done. And he came in, he shook things up, and he and he put these rock solid foundations in place. And yeah, um, 73 is no age. Uh, you know that that's why it's such a shock when you when you think when you think about it and yeah obviously yeah a, a real a real sort of kick in the teeth for a, for a monday morning but 
yeah, I mean, if if it, if anything, I hope that it goes on to cement Gerard Duillier's legacy. And I think there's one thing that we all want to look back on when when our end of days kind of kind of arrives. We want to look back. We want the people who can look back on the legacy that we've left behind, the things that we've achieved in life. And you know, he's he's a he plays an important role as a technical director in the French side that wins the World Cup in '98. He of course then rebuilds Liverpool, and he has a great spell at Lyon as well. Uh, after the fact, and the way that he's spoken of, he's spoken of so highly as a wonderful caring man I had a very very limited exchange with him a very short interview I did with him a number of years back when he was brilliant you know he, he didn't have to take the time he didn't have to be as, as welcoming and you know as he was and he, he, he was absolutely fantastic and yeah um, a genuine Liverpool great a, a genuine Liverpool legend um, has been lost and it is a very very sad day for it but listen let me know your favourite Gerard Ullier moments whether it's you know player performances matches or you know whether you've had any interactions with him uh, in the the comments below um yeah and i'll you know I, i'll be there in the comments to have a chat with you guys but yeah just shit just properly properly shit news and obviously thoughts and feelings uh for myself go out to all of his uh family and relatives and anyone who knew him as well because yeah the football and the world is a darker place for not having a wonderful character like gerard Ullier in it um but yeah that's all from me uh thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my little ramble about a great man uh, and a great liverpool manager as well see you all soon Ta -da.